everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. We are gonna get started with our Thanksgiving decorations and our day. I kinda just got out of bed, even though I still like got some things started. Last night, not a funny story, but kind of funny story. So when we, um, or I should say, when Lauren butchered our turkey, it was too big for us to kind of put places. So we had to clean out our fridge last night and um, yeah. last night with this, when I came home from grocery shopping, me and Gage went last night because we had to get stuff for today. I was like, I ended up getting turkey bags and stuff that we needed to put the turkey in in the oven. But I wish I would have been a little bit made more prepared because I didn't have a pan big enough for our turkeys. So if you guys seen in some of our other videos, we had two turkeys that we raised since May, I think it was. And we butchered one of them for our Thanksgiving this year. So we didn't realize, I guess, how big it was going to be. And we had to clean out our refrigerator and we had to take out shelving just to um, put it in there because it was, we found out later, we measured it, it was 40 pounds. And when I was sitting, so it was probably like 11 o'clock last night by the time we got things like put away and I was able to sit and figure out things. But I already had the turkey already. I, I did kind of like a little bit of a dry brine where I got some garlic and basil and I put that all on top, put it in the fridge for a little while. I wanted to do it overnight, but I didn't realize how long I was gonna be cooking this turkey. So when I looked it up, it ended up being that I needed to cook it for 10 to 11 hours or so. 12 o'clock, 12.30 last night, I had to put this in the oven. If I would have started this morning, we would have never had it done in time. So that's my little story of this, but I will leave a little picture like right here of what the turkey looks like in our refrigerator because it's ginormous. It's like in our oven, um, I needed to take out all the racks and put them, put it like at the lowest level for us to fit this turkey in there. So I put it on 325 and so far since 1230 last night, it's been in the oven. But there's, so I need to do dishes. Um, and our sink is kind of little. So when we have like even just a little bit of dishes, it looks terrible. But we try to do this every morning and then our kitchen table just needs to be picked up a little bit after breakfast and then we're gonna start decorating. You guys will see how we'll decorate and stuff for everybody to come over. I do need to put some extra chairs out um, for everybody when they come, but that's not a big deal. So it's just more or less, this year seems to be a little bit more put together. Sometimes I end up taking the turkey out too late and then we're rushing around in the morning doing that. The biggest job that we really have to do today is potatoes. And then Victoria will be bringing, um, my oldest daughter, daughter will be bringing dessert. So she'll be doing that. And then um, we have everything else here. I don't do all the traditional like green bean casseroles and stuff. So we have our stuffing and our biscuits and, or buns right here. And um, corn. And what else are we putting? Oh, we always do like the sparkling water drinks. And then we also got, what was the Sprite? Sprite cherry? No, Sprite cranberry. Okay, so we have some of that. So what, you want some more M&Ms? Okay, you gotta wait. Okay, so I gotta get started with breakfast and stuff, but I'm gonna turn you around just really quick and I will show you what the turkey looks like in the oven. Giving today. Okay, so this is what it looks like in here. I had to take all the racks off. Um, I did end up having to wrap it in some bags, but I actually had to cut 
some of the bags in half to be able to fit it on there. Um, pretty soon I'm going to go in and um, baste it and like coat it with whatever is left in the bag and probably take the bags off and cook it um, without the bags on for a little while too. Um, with us not having a big enough pan, I was nervous that things were going to start dripping out. I have everything tucked in there pretty good. So this pan down here was able to catch whatever would come out, but actually it looks pretty good in there. Um, I ended up using uh, the bag instead of just cooking it regular because I didn't think that it was going to work this way. And I was not prepared for this big of a turkey. I didn't realize that it was going to be this big. So when I was at the store, I wish I would have looked at the turkey beforehand because this is the only roasting pan that I have. So I didn't know how this was going to work and if we were even going to be able to cook this turkey. So. I got it in there, everything looks good. I'm actually gonna pull it out in a little bit just to make sure that it's cooked through and it's all done. And I wanted it to be done before everybody came because I, other years um, it was still cooking for another like hour or two and then it just took forever. So this is just what we're gonna do today. Um, I probably will need help pulling it out of the oven because it is really heavy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get started and have fun today. So this is what it looks like so far. I need to pull everything out. It was really hard to cook because of how big it was, but the meat and everything is still really moist. So we're kind of excited. Um, I did add onion and apples in the inside. And then, like I said, I have basil and garlic on top. And that could be why it crystallized on top is because of what I put on there. So, but this is what it looks like so far. And it looks like it would be done but um, I still want to cook it just a little bit to make sure. We got most of our stuff done that we needed to get done. We got, oh, going the wrong way. Dishes pretty much done. Um, we have potatoes and everything on the stove right now. And then our turkey and everything is finished, but we just kept that in the oven for right now. We are gonna get started with the table. Mom is here. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Um, so the kids are on their way and I want to get this started before they get here and some of the kids are going to help do this. Hudson's going to make me some coffee. He's a professional coffee maker. So did you say he's not? He thinks coffee is useless. What? It's your birthday day? Is that it? Okay, put um, put the rest. No, not in the middle. We don't need them in the middle. This is this is my coffee. Blaine's here. The table decorated all the way around. We finally have a big enough table to fit everybody on this year. So that's what it looks like all the way down. And just gave, uh, Blaine and Grandma are here so far. So Victoria and them guys are coming in a little while. Hey, Big Bertha's coming out. 
Turkey and gravy. It like bent the rack. Oh my gosh. Break the door. <laughs> and they hardly even ate anything. It was like they ate the scrap the most. Basically, throughout the months we've had it, we're re eating the food. <laughs>
like today's video i know i didn't get to come on here that much and talk to you guys but with everything going on and me having to just keep everything in order and stuff um 
that's kind of how it goes. It gets kind of a little crazy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my brother and my nephew coming over. And usually when my brother comes over, that is exactly what you see almost every single time. So he just likes to the kids all riled up and goof off and stuff with them. And now the kids usually will pull out Nerf guns and stuff when he comes. So they had fun doing that. Lauren got the table cleaned off. We still have to tackle all the dishes from after. We got the turkey almost all packed up and put away. So it is around 5.30 right now. We're gonna be putting animals and stuff away right now because usually we wait a little bit longer. So we're gonna be getting them put away in a little bit and then getting the kids settled down for the rest of the night because tomorrow we go take our Christmas tree. So last year you guys saw us getting our Christmas tree, but this time we're gonna go and we're gonna tag it. So what we do with that is we go there, walk around the field, pick our tree, put a tag with our name on it, and then we are able to go back when we are ready and cut it down. But last year we forgot to do that. So we ended up just picking out a tree that they already had cut down. And we usually like to go and do it ourselves and cut it down ourselves. So we usually go to the same place because we really like it there. It's a cute little, um, little store, little shop area. If you guys want to check out my last year's video, I'll leave a link up above and you guys can go check out that one. And every year we pick out a tree that has a name. So they go around their field and they name the trees. So last year, I don't remember what our tree name was. I don't remember that. We want to go back and find out what that one was. But so that's really fun when we do that. With Thanksgiving over, we have to back into like schooling and homeschooling. We got some projects that we're finishing up that I will be sharing with you a month or so. And then with um, December right around the corner, I have so many things. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's just stuff that we do around the house and enjoy and have fun with during the holiday seasons. I have some um, craft ideas for you guys, some um, DIY stuff I want to share with you. Two things I think that I want to share with you. But other than that, um, hopefully you guys had a very nice, happy Thanksgiving and you were able to spend time with your family. Uh, we had a good time today with everybody coming over and um, just being able to spend time together and enjoying each other and just goofing off and having fun. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.